So, usually when a celebrity dies, uh, too many people sort of, what is the term? They just simply kind of brush it off vaguely, while there's millions of people who simply memorialize the person or the persona that that person characterized uh, throughout their career. And uh, this is something I sort of wanted to touch base on, because two people that I've really enjoyed their work uh, passed away recently. I mean, let me, I tip my hat to them. You know, because obviously this gentleman did contribute something very good to his life. I mean, sure, he. some people would say his life was sort of controversial, but at the same time, he just lived to be alive. You know, and it's sort of like he didn't let too many things bring him down. He just he was just brutally honest, blah, 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 and the list goes on. So, um, you know, I, that's why I kind of respected his life. Is a very genuinely honest dude. Like, if you talk to him, he's just blunt with you. Like, he don't give a shit. You know, I don't know him personally. And people say, well, why do you care about him so much? Well, that's the thing, right? I cared enough about him to be able to respect his passing. You know, I think that's crucial, too, to life, is that you need to monetize death in order to really appreciate life. You know, that there's a two... Uh, spirals there. Everyone can agree to that just about. Some people, oh, it's good just to move on, blah, blah, blah. People die every day. That's true. But at the same time, it's impossible for a human being to symbolize every single uh, being that's alive. But it's also super simple to simply highlight the people that have done or put something into your life, whether it's a minor thing to a major thing. Uh, For example, uh, Alan Rickman and David Bowie, who unfortunately both passed due to cancer. I mean, this is the same thing with Lemmy. He passed away due to cancer. Um, with Alan Rickman and David Bowie, other, on the other hand, these are two gentlemen that I've watched throughout the years at one point or another. And while I can't quite pinpoint every single thing that these people have done, it's almost, again, impossible to remember that, at least my memory, um, Alan Rickman contributed at least a good chunk, at least of my childhood, which is uh, Die Hard, you know, kids shouldn't be watching that, but, you know, I watched snippets when I got, obviously, to a mindset where I can understand the movie and appreciate it. At the same time, he also contributed majorly to Harry Potter. Like, this character, he portrayed Snape in a fantastic way. You know, these are two iconic uh, roles he played. There's so many other roles, obviously, because in the UK, he's done so much for at least the... Uh, theater side and everything else. Again, as some stuff I can't quite point out on the top of my head. People who can, will. You know, that's just how that is. Uh, with David Bowie, um, I listen to him a lot. You know, I, it isn't because I'm listening to him even more now because he's dead. It's just simply I listen to him quite a bit, even when he was alive, or at least with the unawareness of his foreshadowing of his passing from the 18-month period that he had cancer. You know, uh, the, the developed uh, cancer they had. You know, it was unforeseen. I didn't notice. You know, it was sort of like, you know, when it happened, it was like, holy shit, you just realize it happened. Um, again, very important to talk about this. I, I just generally think it is. Some people think, well, if you don't know the person personally, it shouldn't hit you that hard. Well, it still can, and it will hit many people pretty hard. So people grew up with these, even when their early childhood, even when David Bowie was doing his Ziggy Stardust uh, gimmick for a long time. Even he was dressing up as a, you know... Um, persuado, I, I call it persuadoism when it comes to the tranny dress up and you dress up like a lady um, on stage, you know, again you know, there's so many highlights of that guy's life, same thing with Alan Rickman same thing with Lemmy, same thing with whoever else who might unfortunately go and so with that said, you know, I just simply wanted to talk about it and I think it's again, very crucial so, uh, David Bowie you know, as as far as I'm concerned, as a, a musical legend, you know, same thing with Alan, same thing with Lemmy, being at Lemmy, being with along with David Bowie, uh, being some two iconic figures in the music world, and other people appreciate their music as much as other people can. It's debatable. Uh, Alan Rickman, again, you know, as far as I'm concerned, a legend of his craft. You know, the the, the theater didn't quite pay attention to his theater stuff. Mus- uh, his movie stuff in the other foot, I was much more attuned to. Uh, David Bowie, to me, um, I actually found out about him when I was a youngster. You know, obviously, when Labyrinth came out, I didn't quite understand that he was a musician. 
I just thought he sung really well in the movie. So I grew up a little bit more, you know, and I kind of saw his music here, there, and the other where. <laughs> you know, just Starman and, you know, Life on Mars, which came out a little bit later on. This is stuff I couldn't access, you know, to archive or listen to all the time when I was a kid, because obviously back in the day it was not as easy to obtain music or listen to music. Um, I think it's crucial and important nowadays that you can actually listen to a large archive, I mean a humongous archive of music, literature, uh, movies, media, you know, whatever. And it's, uh, to me, it's just really great. And for, I was really fortunate enough to um, have those snippets of these characters in my life to be able to entertain or be entertained, um, to laugh to smile, to, you know, just have good things um, presented to my life. You know, at the end of the day, some of these guys had some controversial things probably done with them, or who knows. At the other foot, you have people who brought nothing but good positive vibes or good mentions of these folks, so it's like, you know, it's an unfortunate thing that the good die young. At least that's what the uh, term goes. So I could sit here all day and talk about David Bowie or Alan Rickman or Lemmy or whatever else, but again, I don't have that much time, you know. <laughs> so for all those folks who remember these characters or these caricatures, you know, I can only thing I can tell you is that you know keep on listening to what they've portrayed. You know, listen carefully with your eyes, listen carefully with your ears. You know, listen carefully with your soul if you're religious or listen to what you can of these said people. I mean, now they're just simply archived. You know, that's just what their life portrays now. It's like they're not going to have anything new other than portrayals of their past life to, for you to witness. Um, a slab of history, if you will, until finally people forget about these characters like so many people, like, you know, like the Buddy Hollies or whatever else. Because not a lot of people talk about these characters anymore unless they're really, really deep, thorough uh, music finaciosos. Or I, I, tongue tied there. <laughs> music fina. Eh, I can't say it. Limgardium Leviosa. Stop it, Ron. Stop. Mm. Anyway, so. Ugh. Ugh. Anyway. So. Yeah, it's just that, you know, you just got to sip. I'm going to sit here and, you know, continue listening to David Bowie. I'm going to sit here and continue watching the older films and the newer films that Alan Rickman has put out, you know. And now it just gives you simply a, re a more of a triplified reason to simply sit there and watch them. I mean, I've been watching them most of my life, you know, it just people have done so. Um, I'm going to go ahead now and do so. But anyway... What do you guys think of these characters, these folks that I just mentioned? Lemmy and Alan and David. What do you guys, or how have these guys contributed to your lives and how so? Uh, sort of like a forum, if you will, to discuss these said folks. I mean, again, I simply wanted to, just to put a memorial, you know, quick video up on my page. But then I thought about it. I was like, you know, I am going to talk about it now. Because I think it means more so than ever, you know, it just makes more sense. So anyway, take care.